At my school, I'm responsible for the sexuality education of all of our students, from our youngest students who are three years old in nursery school, up through our 12th graders who are turning 18 and getting ready to leave high school. That's a huge range, but every single one of those kids is a sexual being. Yes, welcome back. This is disgusting. Watching this clip to a certain learn, I realize my head is spinning. Recently, according to this article, California mother is suing her child school district for allegedly transition her 11 year old gender in secret, claiming her right as a parent were violated. Now, this is not the first time we are seeing this. Like you have seen at the beginning of this clip, some schools have laws that prohibit teachers from leaking information about their children. If your children is doing anything pertaining to gender, this school will never reveal to you. What is bothering me is this. If you know that a school is doing this, why not withdraw your children from such schools? On this clip, we are going to take an exclusive look into what is going on exactly. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. Before we go into this clip, let me play this first so you can understand what is happening. A California mom is speaking out and suing the Chico Unified School District for allegedly secretly transitioning her 11-year-old daughter without her knowledge or consent. The mom says the school's actions violated her parental rights. Senior correspondent Claudia Cowan is live in Sausalito, California with the story. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Mike. You know, schools call parents about their child for all sorts of reasons. But one California mom is suing because of the phone call she didn't get. The one telling her that her daughter was socially transitioning to a different gender. I just want them to stop stop keeping parents in the dark. California mom Aurora Regino's 11-year-old daughter was living a double life at Sierra View Elementary School. The fifth grader was a girl at home and a boy named Jaden at school. Regino is suing the Chico Unified School District to put a stop to their parental secrecy policy, which she says allows students to switch genders without parental notification or approval. They were talking to my daughter about uh, different support groups in town to help her with her transition and then discuss breast binding with my daughter that I had no knowledge of. Regino's daughter has since identified once again as a female. Parents have the right to direct the upbringing and education of their kids. Kate Anderson is senior counsel and director of the Center for Parental Rights at Alliance Defending Freedom. These schools who are coming up with these policies where they push a child towards a gender transition and lie to parents about that are violating the United States Constitution. The Chico Unified School District declined our interview request, but addressed Regino's lawsuit at a recent school board meeting. We are currently researching these issues and consulting state agencies. Emotions from parents ran high. Not every kid seeking emotional support is a candidate for gender transition. My daughter the last two years has been asked for her pronouns on the first day of school. The policies of school districts that say uh, if a child says don't tell my parents, the, the uh, educators will not tell their parents essentially condones deception. In fact, it's teaching children it's okay for you to lie to your family. And I, I think that's a terrible lesson for young people. As for Regino, she says her lawsuit isn't about money. It's about protecting parental rights. The goal is to make sure that this doesn't happen to any more families and kids. Regino says her daughter is seeing a new school counselor who believes that this little girl was manipulated. The Chico Unified School District is expected to file a response to the federal lawsuit soon. It's a story we will be following. Mike, don't mess with The mother is doing the right thing. She's not all about the money, but she is doing this to protect children. I believe other parents can follow suit. If a child is coming up to you and is telling you things like this, before you take up any decision to do anything, parental concern is vital. 
That is the most important thing these people need to take into consideration before carrying out anything, you know, to children. Now they are suing this school for violating parental rights. Parents should stand up against this. A child has no decision. The child is there. He or she is not paying any school fees. You are there taking care of the child. The child wants to take up a decision, you know, to... The child doesn't want to have dress. You as a teacher is doing that without parental concern. Just imagine yourself waking up one day, you see your child coming back with no... with a flat chest. How will you feel? It saddens my heart if a school is doing this. I'm responsible for the sexuality education of all of our students. From our youngest students, who are three years old in nursery school, up through our 12th graders, who are turning 18 and getting ready to leave high school. That's a huge range, but every single one of those kids is a sexual being. They have been since birth. And at every age and stage, we can offer them age-appropriate, transformative sexuality education. I'm only a small part of the village that supports them as they grow. It's not enough that I teach them. We have to teach them. Part of my message today is that we all, no matter what else we do in life, need to find a way to be sexuality educators for the kids in our lives. If we don't step up, others will. And many of those others don't see wholeness and freedom the way we do. One of the things we can celebrate today is how young people have so many more options to consider than simply whether they feel like a boy or a girl, or whether they identify as gay, straight, or bisexual. Our understandings of both gender and orientation have greatly expanded in our culture. And there's an ever-increasing list of labels one can use to describe oneself. To me, this is a great benefit because it allows people, especially young people, to find a more precise way to describe their own experience. What it's also brought about is greater latitude in experimenting with different identities. It's not uncommon today for young people to try out different labels and different pronouns and different relationships. This man is sick in his brain. He said it loudly. He's responsible for everything. Just imagine. So you can take up any decision to do anything to your child without you even knowing and the case goes nowhere. That is what he says. He's responsible to destroy your children, not to educate them. I really wish people putting their children in this school should realize